Um, hi, everyone. Uh, I'm actually here with uh, my good friend Steve. And Steve and I go uh, kind of like way back. Right, Steve? <laughs> kind of. Yes, yes, we do. We have a mutual <laughs> passion called uh, hypnotherapy or hypnosis or communication, mm -hmm. just to narrow it down. And, um, mm -hmm. you know, you and I, we kind of like every time we got some good ideas, we kind of like going to spin it off to each other. Like, hey, what do you think about this? Because you can be frank with me and I can be frank with you. And uh, since you're kind of like the reigning MBL expert, at least in my perspective, right? Um, you've been teaching this stuff and we kind of like got the same backgrounds. We've got the same philosophies and the same ideas. And still we work in different ways and we getting equal results kind of, right? So... I just wanted to bring something to your attention and have fun with it for a little bit. And I just want you to verify that you do not know what's going to happen. Not a clue. In fact, I told you I don't want to know what's going to happen. Awesome. Uh, that makes it even more I fun, doesn't it? Tear things apart, so. Absolutely. <laughs> so as and and as you know, and probably people watching, like, you know, when we do our kind of, kind of work, we always have to do with somebody who has an issue and a problem or something like that. And if there's something we kind of hate, is talking about the problem. But, it, you know, it, despite of that, I'm going to ask you, is there anything these days, something that is an issue, daily issue, something that is limiting you from doing what you want, excuse me for my voice, Eastern draft in my garden earlier today. <clears throat> is there anything like kind of like bothering you? Could be something that's been there for a while, something new, whatever, something like you want to work with right now. Yeah. Um, well, it's not really bothering me. But, uh, and you and I, you and I have both done fairly well with this business. You know, we've done better than most hypnotherapists out there. And, uh, but, but I, have kind of, I've reached this, this financial ceiling okay. that I, I can't seem to break through. <clears throat> and, you know, I, I've, I've eat, six figures are easy. You know, what, what I want to do is, is, well, what, what would ultimately change for me is my behaviors that would move me into the seven figure. Okay. Uh, you know, so uh, Without going into depth and all the practical stuff and all the logical things that your conscious mind thinks it is, uh, if you could just bring a word on, onto that as a topic or a theme, something that kind of like, this is the painting, here's the word that kind of like narrows everything down with what you just told me. What, what is the first thing that pops up? The first thing that pops up is hesitation. Hesitation. And what? Yeah, that's the first one. Okay, what type of emotion is connected to that right now? Um, I think there's a little fear attached to it. Okay, so hesitation, yeah. fear, and where do you feel that is located right now? Uh, below my solar plexus, just uh, right above my right upper part of my abdominal cavity. There. Okay, awesome. So what we're gonna do right now? I'm gonna. Work right here on the side to make sure we do everything right. So I do apologize if I'm looking to the side once in a while. But first question basically is, what's the problem? Um, what's the problem, or what do I think the problem is? Because there's there's whole there's two different things there. What is the first thing that pops um, up? Basically, <clears throat> what is the problem? If I, I think that there is a a fear of losing freedom. A fear of losing freedom. Okay. Yeah. So let's keep it at that. Yeah. And so that's what you thought back then and up until now, correct? Yeah. Like, yeah, I think that's, uh, yeah. So that's how it's been, basically. Maybe it's a fear of too many responsibilities and, and not having my freedom. Okay. And uh, yeah. how do you want it to be instead? Uh, how do I want it to be? I, um, I, I want to easily access, uh, the resources that allow me to have that freedom and do my business without affecting what, well, and, and keeping my freedom. So you, you want to allow yourself to easily access those resources that will allow you to have that freedom. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. that's and that would ultimately change the behaviors okay. you know, because once those resources are accessed, of course, we know that. That's a pretty powerful insight, though, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So knowing that, you know, the thing you just told me. So what is that new experience within that you're having right now? Um, 
What's a new experience? What is that been? new experience uh, experience you're having within right now since you just told me that? <clears throat> um, well, I think there's a realization that there are resources. Hmm. I guess I kind of knew that already. So what is the difference? Um, because there's a new experience since you seemed a little, seemed a little bit surprised as you're thinking about right now. Well, I think the surprise is I tell this to people every day. Uh, <laughs> um, what, what, let's see, the, the new thing. Um, what is that new experience within? I feel a little calmer about it. Okay. A little calmer about it. Yeah, the, uh, the, the feeling has changed. Okay. And right, you know, in the, in the in the in the abdomen. Knowing you, that seems like it's it's taking you by surprise just a little bit, even though you know all the stuff that you do. A little, yeah. It's 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 certainly an awareness that I, uh, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Perfect. So, in what other situation do you know that this is a powerful resource? I'd say working with my clients. Yeah. Any other situations mm -hmm. that you know that's actually a powerful resource, this thing? I can do anything else. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> I'm trying, trying to pinpoint exactly what the resource is. Well, because the feeling has changed. I'm a bit more relaxed with it. Just stick with that body, you know, awareness, you know, trying to put a logical yeah. thing to it might not be your friend right now, or it might make it something it isn't. So just stick to whatever you feel within your body right now. And that's a change, correct? Yeah, it's, it's, it's more comfortable than it was. Okay. Um, so, so here, here's, here's the next thing I want you to consider. Feeling different now, what do you think about uh, right now what used to be the problem? So what do you think about what used to be the problem? As you're feeling... I think there's some possibilities yeah. there that I hadn't considered yet. Okay, so there's... Uh, and some, some that I don't even know yet. Um... How does that make you feel that there's even some that you don't even know yet? Because, you know, some people don't even think about possibilities that they can't see, but you're considering those right now that there might be some you haven't even considered yet. Yeah, no, it's... Um, I, I think there, there's a sense of hope attached to that. Hope? Yeah. Yeah. So the freedom, hope, change... Pretty awesome. Yeah. So knowing what you know and feeling what you're feeling right now, what do you know that you can do more of now? Talk to one of those six business coaches who's courting me at the moment and figure out which one's going to be, in, uh, be the one who's going to help me get through this. And how do you know which one it is? Oh, whichever one feels right. I haven't talked to them all yet. <laughs> so whichever one feels right. Yeah. Perfect. So question. Yeah, whichever ones can grow with what they're saying. <laughs> question is right now, knowing what you know and with the stuff that you just told me is, so what is different about the problem considering how it used to be? Um. It's not as looming. It's not, it doesn't. Uh, it doesn't feel like it's over me anymore. Okay. Yeah. So, what's the problem now? Um, I don't know. If there's a problem around that right now. How does that make you feel? Feels pretty good. <laughs> How do you know? <laughs> well, the feeling I felt before is not there now. Um, it, it's more in my upper chest is a, there's a, there's an openness. There's a sense of freedom there. It's pretty amazing. Uh, there's a lightness that wasn't there before. Uh, 
So even right now, yeah, the feeling is. even right now, when you're doing your best and you're really trying to connect with what you think at this very moment, what used to be the problem just before we started this, the thing you get in return from your body is that light feeling in your upper chest. Is that correct? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. There's, there's a little bit of excitement there now too. Wow. Yeah. Pretty awesome, isn't it? Yeah. So from a scale from one to 10 and 10 is, this is a okay. And one is kind of like, ah, let's do another one. Why right now? I'd say about a nine. Perfect. So we've got room yeah. for some more opportunities in the top. That's perfect. Just a little more. Just a little more. <laughs> How do like that one? I like it, man. You know what's cool about it? Thumbs up. There's, uh, there, thumbs there's up. a deck on the way to your address right now. Right so on. For you to have fun with them and take a glance at them, do whatever you want to do with it. Right on. Yeah. So honestly. Right on, man. Well, I'm looking forward to playing with yeah. this. Honestly, how do you th what do you think about it? Uh, I love the structure, man. Yeah, I think you got uh, you got some cool stuff going on there, and uh, yeah, it really does play along the lines of everything we've been doing. So, 